Hi everybody, it's Sam here and I'm really excited to share my first Christmas Paper Craft Society box. So this is the third box that I've designed for the Paper Craft Society, but my first Christmas box and I cannot wait to share it with you. Now this is a sample box, so unfortunately the Paper Craft Society wording on the front here should be a much, much more vibrant and it will all be in white when you receive yours. So yours will look much, much better than mine. But as you can see, this wonderful design, can any of you guess what the theme of this box is? You've got your gingerbread, you've got candy canes so let's get into the box so it says here at the top make pop-up cards decorations gift boxes and more this box has it all enjoy Sam so this kit will allow you to make a pop-up house now the house can be a house for a new home card or it can be a pop-up gingerbread house which explains the theme However, you can also take that pop-up piece and you can turn it into a little gift box, a tree decoration. You could probably put a little handle on it and make it into a gift bag if you wanted to. So there's a lot you can do with this. And I'm, again, really uh, pleased with how it's all come together. So you've got your envelope and your tissue paper. So we'll have a look inside the envelope first. So you have this lovely print on the front with my logo. And then open this one up. You've got, I love the candy cane pattern throughout. And again, everything that you see is all indications of the papers. So you've got your three pockets here. So we'll start with the, actually we'll start with the stamps and then I will explain the coordinating dies that work with it. So, okay, so you'll see you've got this mug and you've got some cream that you can pop on the top there. And then inside you could have home sweet home. You could have from our home to yours. You then have tis the season. Thank you for being so sweet. These little stamps will go inside these here, which will form a signpost. You've then got first Christmas, you've got in your new home, you've got babies, you've got together, and then you've got have the sweetest Christmas and some little decorative pieces here to frame your sentiment. So you can have have the sweetest Christmas in your new home. You can have babies first Christmas, first Christmas together. So there's quite a few different sentiments that you can make. And then you've got your different sweets here. So you've got your lollipop, little hard sweets here. You've got candy cane. You've got another decorative kind of border here. This here is a little wreath, which will go on the door. And you'll see that in a moment, it's so cute. This is some snow, or you can have it as some icicles if you want. And then you've got other little sweets here. These here are all for you to kind of color and decorate your gingerbread house. You can see here, you've got other little gumdrops, more sweets, and then you've got your lights here which will cut with this die. Okay, so with the die, you have your two main gingerbreads. You've got your gingerbread man, your gingerbread woman. You have the faces there that you can cut into it. You have bow tie and buttons here. You've got another bow, which you can stamp here. And these here will cut the detail to go over these because this will emboss and then you can pop these in to fill the space. You've got candy cane here. Here you've got your door, you've got windows, all different ones there. This is your path. And then there's the sign that I mentioned. These could be the mummy and daddy and then these are the babies. These also make nice little charms to go on the gift box. You've got a snowflake, you've got a pretzel. This here will turn the box into a hanging decoration. So you stick that and then you can thread your ribbon, your string through. These here make really nice looking kind of cookies. So again, great to decorate the house. And then this here will shape your edge of your roof and it will also create snow effect on the top as well. So that's all of the dies. So they great, you know, they work really nicely on their own. Oh, I missed the little tree there as well. I don't think I mentioned that one. So they work great on their own. Obviously they coordinate perfectly with everything else that I'm gonna show you. You also get an embossing folder. So if you want, you can emboss the side of the house. So you have this print on there. You can do some nice effects with that using your ink pads. And then your papers. So you've got two of each. You've got that wonderful design there, which is just really, really fun. Love this one. So this is the same as the packaging. Again, you can see your two there. And this is the outside of the packaging. A lovely stripe. And then you've got some other candy cane patterns there. And then these here will make really nice gift tags. You can cut these out and you can have them hanging from the little house if you turn it into a gift box. Alternatively, you might just want to use them on your other Christmas presents that you're wrapping. It's entirely up to you. You've got a lovely little recipe here as well, which says recipe for a Merry Christmas, a dash of joy mixed with a touch of peace, add a pinch of magic and stir with hope. You've got Merry Christmas, baked with love, holly jolly, and then happy holidays. So you've got one of those. And then you have 
three sheets of the craft card because this is what we thought most people are going to use to cut their pop-up house okay so you've got plenty of different pattern papers and your card stock there and then let's have a little look inside the tissue so yours will actually be wrapped with a sticker on top but inside lots of goodies so first of all we have some pom-pom trim this looks so cute around the roof kind of hanging down to just stick around all of the edges or just along the top of the pop-up but you can use it on lots of other things as well you have these adorable little i think they're made of polymer clay and the little candy canes now yours again will be in proper packaging with the branding and everything on but aren't those so sweet absolutely love those you also get this adorable little cookie cutter. So the idea with this is to have it maybe hanging off of the gift box and inside you'd have the ingredients for someone to be able to make their own cookies. You can also make the cookies and put them in the gift box. And we just thought it was just a nice little addition to add into this Christmas box. And then here is the stencil to make the pop-up. So we decided to go with a stencil because if we'd done the dies, the dies were just too big and we wouldn't have been able to have added all those lovely things. So we've gone for this design instead again yours will be in a much nicer presentation than mine but you'll see here you have your four pieces if I just move this along here so you can see them all of the instructions on how to use these will be in the booklet this is the front and back these are the sides this is the base and this is the roof Okay, and uh, yeah, it's very, very easy to use. So that will make your box, hanging decoration or pop-up house in the card. Then you also get your glitter card stock. So this is lovely for the snow effect on the top of the house. Really nice, thick. It's probably about a 350 GSM. It's beautiful, non-shed. So it's not going to go everywhere. Really nice. And then here you have your card stock. So there's more. So it's not just the cardstock you saw there. You could have a pink gingerbread house. I mean, think of Hansel and Gretel's house. It's that kind of, you know, th kind of themes you have covered in sweets. So colourful ones is probably where I'm going to go with it. But you get two of my favourite hot pink colour. You get two of the red here. Look at that green. Oh, it's the same as the tissue paper. It's just so bright and gorgeous which again is very much my style and then you've got this orange color again looks really nice for the gingerbread house if you want to do it in the craft card or this color and then just do everything on the front all in white all of your sweets everything so it looks more like a you know a traditional style so you get that gingerbread effect and then there's a sheet of wrapping paper this is so nice i'm going to be wrapping a very special present <laughs> will have to be for, for me to use this or i might actually make a little mini album maybe a christmas mini album and this will be what i use to cover the front you can see it's got some little polka dot kind of sparkly polka dots there but you can imagine wrapping a gift you could even then use your pom-pom trim around that as well so that was just a little extra that we popped in there for you so I'll just show you how the card will look. So this is a sample. So this is actually going to be photographs. That's why there's no decoration on the front, but the main part is all inside. So you open up the card and you have your pop-up house. So this one here is a Christmas card from our home to yours. You can see the gingerbread. We've got the lights, got some snow coming down there on the side and then the back here you've got space to write your message or you could pop it on the very back if you want and I've added acetate just so that was a nice little touch you can see I've put some glossy accents on the pretzels there and the glittery card on the path and you've got your gingerbread man there very very sweet and then it all folds up into a six by six size and then this is another version so again nothing on the front because you're going to see the photos of this in the booklet that is another one here so this is home sweet home isn't that gorgeous? I loved colouring this one, doing all the decoration on there and on that side as well. You can see all the glossy accents. And again, you've got space here to be able to write your message or you could write it on the back in the path there. And then I just want to share with you a couple of 3D projects. So this is a little gift box. So you've just got your Velcro top here and you can pop the treats inside. I think this would make a lovely table favour really really sweet You've got the little sign there love these little candy canes so that's the gift box and then this one i've turned into a little hanging decoration so hanging tree deck you can see you've got your little kind of 
piece there to attach. You've got a tag that I've added. And then again, it's got the Velcro there, but you can pop a tea light in this one as well. And it will, you know, the light will come through the windows and the door there. And you can see all the glossy accents on the suites and everything. Very, very cute. Just loved putting these together. These embellishments are from my own stash, but as crafters, we have so many of these embellishments, so you can pop any colours on there. But I just thought it was another way just to show you how to use those things that you might already have in your stash. So if you'd like to get your hands on this kit, then just follow the links in the description box below and they will take you to the Paper Craft Society. You can choose your subscriptions. You can do month to month. You can do quarterly, six monthly or for the whole year. So lots of people, you know, they take out different subscriptions. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait to start sharing more fun makes with this. So once everybody has theirs, I'll be doing craft alongs and all that good stuff. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.